welcome back to Shade House. We are in week 37. Shade House is a place where we have six Sims that live together and we observe the shenanigans and the nonsense. Last week was pretty chill. We focused mostly on Sean Cody, who decided to cool things off with Popcorn. They're officially friend zoned now, and he recommitted his relationship to Shingo and committed that he was done with Papa. He built a new room for Xavier Xavier and it looked really good. Popcorn got cursed again during his Magical Realm journey, and there were about eight deaths via piano from an uncontrollable raging god who may have been angry at the Sim universe for cursing Popcorn again. He got the curse of stench, but we cured that, and also of ugliness, and he turned green. It was terrible, but we fixed it. He's better. And Zane has new career goals that he's working on. So now that he's done with his body positive strengthening movement, now it's time to focus on his sports career and sports ball. So let's see what happens this week in the House of Shade. It is a Wednesday at four in the morning. We have Zane Rosewood here watching some TV, having some big dreams about being a Hall of Famer. He wants to work out at the gym for five hours to get to his next goal. Last week, he worked on his fitness. He got his skills up. He feels really good about all of the rewards that he got, which we should spend some of those. Let's do that. Brittany, hello, welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. Ooh, let's do a no sweat. No more sweating ever again. Honestly, I think he'd like that considering how much he works out, builds fun, and don't lose hygiene while exercising. Paired with the sweat, that'll be a good one. We'll make him a gym rat. I think that works out well. Observant Sims learn the traits of others by just meeting them. That actually might be good for him too. They reach level 10 in certain skills. The mentor interaction becomes available. Ooh, he could do like fun role play stuff. Let's do mentor. Ooh, more likely to get promoted. Let's do that one. Now that we've done that, let's get our booties to the gym at four in the morning, which sounds like one of the worst hobbies you could ever have. Let's go to worth the wait the gym. It looks like he a star is here. Let's get on the treadmill. Let's start out with a hill challenge. We should turn on the TV too. Study opponents. Oh, that might help us with, uh, that'll help us with our career goals. Look, he can't stop staring. He's looking at all this man. You know what he's looking at? That's what he's looking at. He's just staring at it. He's, he's getting photos. He's literally getting photos and sending it to Herman. Like, look at this big old ding dong. And because he's not sweating and he's gaining fun, a lot of good things are happening here. Yay, he completed his milestone. He needs to have $15,000 worth of workout equipment, reach level 10 of the athletic career in the professional athlete track, and reach level eight of the charisma skill. So now that we've done all of our workouts, let's get our booties home. It's good to take a break and let loose those sore muscles. Let loose! I said let loose! Ooh, maybe we can have him uh, relax in the sauna. Now that we're back from the gym, Zane is going to come down here into the sauna and hang out. And get some relaxation in. He really pushed himself. So now it's time to just rest, decompress, let the muscles relax, feel the heat. Wait, where's Poncho? Hello? Oh, baby Poncho is sick. Wait, why are you so sick, baby? Baby, we gotta take you to the vet. Don't you worry. I'll take you to the vet. Don't worry. We're gonna get you all taken care of. 
Brett the Vet, trying to make him better. He's blue. And not even in like a fun singing way. We found out that our vet clinic is a sub, a vegan, and a child of fall. Don't you just love getting in casual, casual conversation with someone and they're like, so I'm a really submissive girl. What do you think about that? Ooh, woo. Like, who just closes that as the vet? This is really not the time. Kim, people are dying at this clinic. People are dying here. <laughs> this woman really was doing the most for absolutely no reason. Uh. What is happening at the vet clinic? Everyone is just flirting with Char left and right, kissing on her neck, playing violin songs for her, whispering that they're a subby girl. What is happening here? And now fighting with each other? Ladies, ladies, there is plenty to go around for all of you. You know what? I'm going to go and get my pet examined. Thank you so much for this very weird conversation. Uh, I'm going to go over here now. My cat needs help. Yay, Poncho's being examined. Please help him out. Help my poor cat. Hello? Where did those come from? Girl, why'd you have garbage in your pocket? Where did the garbage come from? You know what? I, I can't do all this. Yeah, my poor cat. My poor baby. Yeah, my poor baby. You're gonna give him a treat? Don't worry, he's a good boy. He won't bite. Give him the expensive treatment. No costs ever is too much for Poncho. He's a very good boy. Give him that shot in his butt. Yeah. Oh, baby Poncho. Yay! See, I knew you'd be okay. I knew you'd be okay. Alright, let's go home now. Let's check in with Sean Cody, who's downstairs on his computer. We should get him a gig. Let's see if there's anything available right now. He's doing well. Huh? There's a room renovation for Shade House. Who... Who at this house asked us to work for this house? This house is flawless. Well, I accidentally picked the wrong gig, and um, now our, our reputation went down a little bit. That's fine. Wait, what is he doing? He's canceling his gig? Why does he have to leave for that? Let's see. Kids, room renovation, a child, six Rainbow Road. I really wanted to do this at one point. Kids these days, they're all over the place, right? Just from one thing to the next. Maybe ten things in the span of twenty minutes. What the kids need is their own space. At least keep them confined. I'm not saying make us a prison, but if you can't if you can put a lock on it, I'm not complaining. A kid's room, please. I need to find out what's going on at the tea at this house. There is some shenanigans happening at Rainbow Road. Now let's check in on Char, who's outside doing some basketball. I really would like to go on another date with Tora Hyman. So I think maybe if we get ourselves all gussied up, how are we doing? We're hygienic. We're playing with our clay. She's feeling good. She had some fantastic food. But there was one negative moodlet back here. Never mind. It looks like it's gone. Let's, uh, let's see if Tora wants to go out. I'm sure she's not busy. We should go somewhere nice. There's a really lovely place out in Newcrest that we go to every now and again. Shea Llama. Let's go there because I really love that restaurant. There's always a lot of romance. A lot of closet woohoos. We're here at Shea Llama. Char is feeling very flirty. She's feeling smitten. Well, there's a fairy here. Gay rights request a table for me and my lesbian lover. Hi, Gay. I'm here as a lesbian to get a table. Please clear the way for uh, two homosexuals. Thank you so much. Hey, Tora, are you ready? And you're ready. She changed. And I think she looks even better this time. Change your costume. Change it around. She's so tiny. She's phasing through. Let's um bring out cake. Draw on placemat. We're feeling flirty. Let's order some food. Let's get ourselves, ooh, some red wine. A oh, red wine, gone with lesbians. 
a fruit shark coochie board. Ooh, I like shark coochie boards. Let's do both of those. Let's get shark coochie boards for the entire table. Let's uh, let's chat. Now, now, now hold on. Now hold on. Now hold on. We were just talking. We were just chatting and now they're leaving. Where are they going? I did not ask them to do anything. They're going to the sex closet. She's looking at her boobs and butt. The, these poor patrons of this restaurant. Here's our order. Here you go, ladies. Enjoy your food. I definitely think they're enjoying eating something, but I don't think it's the fruit board. This poor guy, again. <laughs> this poor man, he's like, you know what? I don't get paid enough for this. I want to go home. Can I get PTO for this? Hi, thank you for calling Shay Lama. How can I traumatize you today? Their fruit platters and wine are just sitting here. Tora just became good friends with Char. I think when like certain parts of your body have been inside other people's body parts, I think you're more than just good friends. I would say. Do you want to go back to the table? I think that would be fun for both of us. So uh, now that we've done all that, and we've made a new good friend. That's <laughs> a lasting friendship. Let's take a photo of our, our steamy lesbian date. You know who Tora Hyman looks a little bit like, in my opinion? Kylie Minogue. Specifically in, like, I think the right now era. I think this has been a lovely date. What about you? The date's over. It was legendary. But we haven't even gotten the rest of our food. We wanted to eat the rest of our volcano pasta. I've never heard her sing before. Oh. She's feeling like the center of attention. Oh. I've never heard her sing. She seems so happy. Let's go ahead and pay her a bill. Give her a quick little booty slap. <laughs> and then makes out with her eyeball. Thank you for a great night. I don't think you can smoke a joint in here. I don't know if, if the restaurant would like that. You're getting litty titty on this evening. <laughs> but hey, good for you. <laughs> Let's keep this party going. A little PNP. I mean, I love that for Tora. I, <laughs> I'm not into it. I don't think Shara is, but we're at our job here on Rainbow Road. Let's knock on the door. What a bougie place. This might be the limes, which suddenly explains everything. Oh my god. It's the lime family! Oh, the limes are evil. We found out that he's materialistic, high maintenance, and arrogant. Great. I love that for us in our journey. So what do you need from me? Your child is very obnoxious. I understand I'm here to do a kid's room, right? So what do you want for your kid's room? You're really inspired by plaid and cheetah print. Fascinating. I don't... I don't know. Do you want the cheetah girls room as like an inspiration for your kids? Okay. What well, we found out about the limes... They like the color pink. They like collectionism. They like the color yellow. And they hate modern decor. I mean, Mama. With all this gaudy furniture. Oh my god, it's Lucinda Lime! She got that BBL. I'm gonna send you away. And I'm gonna look around your home. We found out that Lucinda is competitive, a Sagittarius, and materialistic. Can you, um, can you scoot away? Let's look around. Okay, so they've got a separate room over here that's just for a fireplace. A fireplace room? A bathroom? Crystals everywhere? I wonder if we could swipe something. Oh, we can't take that. Another bathroom connected to a toilet bathroom, but it's just a bath bathroom. They've got a study back here that's all fancy. Look at this nonsense. They've got a covered patio set with more crystals. They really do love collectionism, don't they? Look at this fountain. An entire magical cauldron room. Another study. And a game room. 
huge bedroom. Is there a third floor? There's got to be a third floor to this mansion, right? There's more. There's more rooms. They've got a tower room. This, I'm sure, is where one of the boys live. Let's do this one. Hello, welcome back to your house. Your very bougie, rich, expensive house, which I definitely tried to steal stuff from, but I was not able to, so don't worry, all of your stuff is still in place. I stayed way under budget. I did a great job, in my opinion. Not them stopping. They said, oh, we've seen enough. I gave you this. There's a big crystal here that I think you'll like. You seem like a guy who likes crystal. Says it wants me to chat with the client, but I don't know if I want to do that. You know that his brother, uh, Lucian, is like, damn, I have a horrible room now. So the Limes have a really interesting story. They are arch rivals with the Lemons who live across the way on Rainbow Road. But they hate the Lemons because the Lemons are unmarried and they have a child out of wedlock and the Limes are really conservative. But the brothers love the Lemons' daughter. They're really good friends with her. And they sneak around and have to play in private together because their parents could never know. Where are your parents? Why am I in here with you alone? I don't like children. I think these kids love it. I'm ready to wrap this up. Honestly, I feel that. Me too. Another happy client because I'm very good at what I do. See? Only the stupid ones don't like it. Ew, not the no contact handshake. Ew, don't touch me. <laughs> Ew. Ew, not touching his shoes. They've been outside all day and she's just rubbing all on his shoes. Breaking his toes and stuff. The limes are weird, man. The limes are real weird. Gripping those grippers. Thank you for the $900. That's it. And I missed the holiday. Y'all are cheap. Y'all are cheap. I'm never coming back here again. I've never seen anybody so rich have a house look so tacky. I've honestly seen better decor at an IHOP. Wow. <laughs> wow. We'll celebrate the holiday with breakfast for dinner. Everybody, come on down. Not her with a bell. Come on down. Come get these delicious pancakes. We got breakfast sausage, which I turn up to. Do we want to say what we're all thankful for? Is that too, like, traditional? Sean's happy and thankful for all of that booty that he's got. Gwen is very thankful that she's pregnante. Shar is very grateful that she's got a banging body and a brand new girlfriend. Papa's grateful that uh, he hasn't been cursed today. And hopefully he keeps that trend going. And Stacy's grateful just to be here. This week on Shade House, we designed a house for the Limes with Sean Cody, and we found out that they are living better than any of us. We are working very slowly on the goals of some of the others. The restaurant's doing okay, but we did lose another host. They died. But we'll be back next week for more Shade House. Thank you, as always, for watching. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to click that like button. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Goodbye!